Gentlemen, from San Francisco's 365 Club, please welcome Paula Poundstone. I think we're all gonna feel a little silly, aren't we? <laughs> you have to allow for a thing like that. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for coming. <laughs> it's very nice to be here. I, I, well, I, I used to live uh, in San Francisco. When I first moved here, it was foggy and rainy and cold for two months solid. First, I thought, terrific, it's sort of romantic, really. I'll break up an old chair for kindling, buy a bottle of wine, sit in front of the fire for the day. Two months later, a hopeless alcoholic with no furniture. <laughs> well, now you're supposed to keep like earthquake preparedness kits too. Do you, do you do that? Yeah. And me neither, I still share an apartment here. I'm not keeping canned goods in my apartment for an earthquake. If I get trapped beneath a beam for three days, I'm at least gonna lose weight. <laughs> I don't want them finding me miraculously at the end of a week being like, well, Chris, she's huge. <laughs> I was able to get to some beans, thank God. <laughs> hey, and that parking problem's coming right along, by the way. <laughs> Unbelievable. One time I was working a nightclub here and I had to park like way far away. And I'm walking to the club and I go by a garage door with one of those signs, don't even think about parking here. <laughs> like people aren't tense enough about the parking thing. Somebody's got to put some smart ass sign up on their door, don't even think about parking here. I'll tell you what, I stood right there and thought about it. <laughs> I did. I threw little pebbles up at the window to get their attention. I go, hey look, I'm thinking about it. Go ahead, call the cops, see if I care. I'll just say I was thinking about something else. I don't know what is it about cars. People love to tell you what to do with your car. You know what I mean? The other day, I was in a traffic jam. I was a mile back myself, and some guy pulls up behind me and leans on his horn. Like everyone else just forgot to move. I expected to see a headline in the paper the next day, aware citizen alerts many. <laughs> but like interviews with stupid people. We were just sitting there. When this gentleman pointed out we could simply press on the gas pedal and proceed. Thank God he was there. My children had missed months of school. I never yell at other drivers, I pr partly because I'm not a good driver myself, and the other thing is because I usually drive rental cars, and frankly, I can't figure out how to get the window down fast enough. <laughs> you know? One time I might push the... There's nothing more embarrassing than you push the thing and the rear window goes down, <laughs> and then you have to get out and get into the back seat, <laughs> and then call them an idiot. <laughs> it kind of takes the heat right off, really. <laughs> One time I thought the window was down, and so I just whacked my head. <laughs> That actually does work. That frightened the other drivers. <laughs> They're like, honey, she's whacking her head. Come on, take this exit. <laughs> Sweet, it the head whackers coming right up behind us. Right? <laughs> she's whacking her own head. There's no telling what she'll do to us. Come on now. 
When I lived here, I drove a 65 Mustang, my best friend, Dave. It was a great car, but it broke down all the time, you know? I figured someday it was gonna break down and I'd have a breakdown right afterwards. They'd find me on the side of the road yelling at it like I was its parent. Saying, do you have any idea how much money I've put into you this month alone? I give and give and give to you. Could you maybe take me two, three more miles? Oh, no. Look at all the other cars, they're moving. Had to have brake shoes, I buy them for you. You won't wear them. Uh, you know, I finally got to a point with this car where I just decided I don't care what else breaks. I'm not replacing another thing. I'm just gonna drive it till it stops running all together and then just leave it on the side of the road and probably be a much happier person. The very night that I made this decision, I got out of the car, slammed the door and the back of the front seat just fell off. I thought, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. I'll just drive without the back of the front seat. As it turns out, the back of the front seat is a piece of driving equipment very easily taken for granted. The following day, I started up a hill and began to lose contact with both the brake and the gas pedal. I slid into the back seat where I simply made suggestions. <laughs> Could you make a left up here? <laughs> now I drive a Volkswagen Cabriolet. It's French. <laughs> That's a convertible rabbit, you know. Driving a convertible has kind of changed my eating habits when I drive. <laughs> You know, now I find a lot of times when I'm driving, you know, I used to eat those Hostess mini donut gems with the white powdered sugar on the outside. <laughs> now a lot of times I find that I'm eating a ball donut with white junk on my face. <laughs> no, but officer, it was a donut. <laughs> you always wonder when a cop pulls you over and he puts this big old cop face in your window. What if you just touch his face? <laughs> You're not really breaking any laws, are you? Just like, ma'am, do you have any idea how fast you touch? <laughs> Maybe there is some sort of face touching ordinance of some sort. So what if you don't touch his face? It's kind, kind of close, that's all. Just what, I didn't even touch you. Oh, baby, baby, baby. I thought somebody just came out over there, did they? They moved? Is it a camera guy and he just came right into my area? Yeah. He's behind you. Is, he's behind me right now? I feel so comfortable. Is he getting the butt shot right this second? Oh, thank God. My butt is so infrequently highlighted on television. And what a happy occasion this will be. I have a huge big butt and huge thighs. <laughs> Which I know, because my neighbors have complaints. <laughs> I have a trampoline in my backyard, so whenever I'm home, I put on Helen Ready, I am woman really loud and go out and jump. <laughs> it's true. My neighbors think I'm really weird, because they don't know that I have a trampoline. <laughs> They just know they see me over the fence every few seconds. Look at this. How long has that been like that? What if we have to start this whole show over again because of that? People will behoove you to be a little bit more vigilant. I hate that, suddenly my hair involved in an unauthorized activity. I specifically had the hair of makeup woman make it so it wouldn't move because that's the way I look best if I have no hair movement. <laughs> if my hair doesn't move at all, it makes the rest of me look so active in comparison. 